You know, uh, I don't know how many uh, you guys caught my uh, video I did a little while back, um, uh, basically talking about capitalism and socialism. Uh, this is this I did a video um, at the height. Well, I won't say the height, but when the Bernie Sanders uh, train was was really burning hot, and uh, and I wanted to sort of uh, do a little take on capitalism, socialism, because I knew that should Bernie win, there's going to be a lot of folk talking about socialism. And uh, and I knew if, if Donald Trump won, there's going to be a lot of folk talking about capitalism. And I felt like it was going to be, it would be an interesting race if capitalism and socialism could sort of battle it out as far as the, the two candidates were concerned. Uh, because a lot of folk know that the country was built on uh, capitalism. Now, a lot of folk realize that it's also built on some socialism, uh, particularly uh, in the 20th century um, with uh, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, Social Security, uh, Pell Grant, some of those types of things. Those are all um, socialism type of, uh, type of uh, policies. And so um, we have a country that uh, I would I don't know the exact percentage, but I would say that we are a country that is a probably about 70 percent um, capitalism with about 30 percent um, socialism. So both uh, forms of government is um, sort of present in the United States. Um, right now, it looks as if um, Hillary Clinton uh, will win. The Democrat nomination, I mean, she's so far ahead in delegates when you uh, particularly when you add in the uh, super delegates. Uh, Bernie is still uh, doing a, a very um, yeoman's job, if you will, of uh, winning. Uh, he won in West Virginia the other day. Um, I think he's uh, sort of prone uh, will probably win Kentucky as well. But he's just uh, doesn't appear he's going to have enough. Uh, momentum to carry this thing uh, to the nomination, which, uh, as I said, if you've been watching this, you know I I, I put an endorsement off for old Bernie uh, a few months back, a couple months back. Uh, but at the same time, I said I will support uh, Hillary should she win. Um, but the I think the the sad part for me, or you know, is in the realm of I finally just wanted to see socialism versus capitalism straight up. Because with Donald Trump, no matter what Donald Trump folks say, Donald Trump is the epitome of a capitalist. I mean, um, and really, capitalist almost to the extreme because he's done some things as far as have jobs shipped some other places, uh, and did some manipulation here or there to make sure uh, he got the most bang for his buck. Those are some of the, some of the uh, and he's made a lot of money, and he's absolutely um, has created jobs for, for some folk too. Um, the value of those jobs as far as can people uh, support families off of them, I leave that up to uh, the people who kind of dig through that sort of thing. Um, but Bernie, Bernie Sanders, some of the things that he's talking about are pure uh, socialism type of things when you're talking about um, single-payer, uh, Medicare, uh, college education for all, all kind of things that a lot of other countries are doing right off the top. Um, that's some of the things that ben, uh, Bernie's talking about. So I, I kind of wanted to see where the country was as as a whole when you took a socialism uh, candidate versus a capitalist candidate and uh, let these two bump heads. And I thought it was probably good because uh, with Bernie and um, Donald because the Donald actually has some socialism type concepts within a capitalistic overall feel about him. Whereas Bernie actually has some capitalism concepts kind of wrapped in uh, an overall socialism type of feel about it. So it would have been a perfect thing. Um, Hillary Clinton to me is probably someone that's kind of closer to, I'm trying to balance this computer on my desk because I really wanted to kind of touched on this article that was in Time Magazine. But Hillary is probably someone who's who's more moderate. Um, she's in the vein of uh, Barack Obama, who's 
still probably in the vein of, of Bush, just on the left side, who was on the vein of of uh, uh, Bill Clinton, who was a little on on the left, and Bush was on the right, so on and so forth. So almost every candidate for I, I would think about the last four or five candidates have all been kind of moderate. With Reagan probably stretching a little far right than uh, uh, than than Norm, and maybe uh, Obama might have stretched a little far left than Norm. At least the uh, you know some people who hate him on the right would think so. Uh, a lot of progressives would not, but certainly with Bernie and uh, Donna, we would have saw some people that were um, pretty much firmly. Put it in either capitalism or socialism, so that would have been interesting. Anyway, uh, let's see. Now, we're running about five minutes. I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, but Time Magazine was a had run, was running an interesting article. It was actually uh, on the uh, realclearpolitics.com website, and it's called Americans, American Capitalism's Great Crisis. They have a nice little picture here talking about saving capitalism and basically talking about how Wall Street is choking our economy and how to fix it. And what was interesting in this here was that uh, the article quotes an article or kind of uh, alludes to an article, or excuse me, a poll that was conducted by the um, Harvard Institute of Politics a couple of weeks ago where they found that only 19% of Americans aged 18 to 19 identified themselves as capitalists. Can you believe that? Only 19% in the richest, and it goes on to say, in the richest and most market-oriented country in the world, only 42% of that group, that 18 to 29 group, said they supported capitalism. That is absolutely huge. Now, and they said the numbers were higher among older people still, well, only 26% considered themselves capitalists, where over a little over half supported the system as a whole. Now, if you go back and, and view my video, and, uh, and that's one of my most popular ones when I'm talking about capitalism and socialism, you know, I state that capitalism has been, you know, what this country has been built upon. But I also acknowledge the truth that socialism, some of the socialism socialistic concepts that this country is put in place, like Medicare, Social Security, uh, and so on and so forth. Even unemployment, uh, in, uh, an unemployment check is kind of is kind of socialistic. The country has um, sort of had both forms of, uh, of, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but had both forms in place, capitalism, socialism, even though capitalism had the higher majority. But I felt this article was um, fascinating. And uh, I knew that, well, I anticipated that if Bernie won, it would be more of a talk. If, Bernie, if both Bernie and Donald Trump won, um, I felt like socialism and capitalism would be more on the conversation. But the conversation is still out there. So, look. Donald Trump has already sold up the um, Republican nomination. Bernie, uh, although not out the race, uh, anything can happen between now and when uh, Hillary, uh, excuse me, between now and the Democratic nomination uh, convention. So we don't know. But um, I still think that this is the time for good, good, good old fashioned socialism versus capitalism talk. If you hadn't seen that video, go back and check it out uh, and then post some comments. Let me see where you're at. All right. Peace.